Welcome back to the show. The show where the people here are all great friends and go to parties together. <laughs> For the most part. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a giant movie star. He's got a new film out right now. It's called The Other Guys, which is in theaters now. Take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome Mark Wahlberg, everybody. Mark Wahlberg. is they put together a bunch of questions there for me to ask you and I'll get to them in due process. Yeah, we, we don't want to we don't want to do it like that anyway. No, 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 I, I don't do that. This is my snake mug. It's my compensation for having a small penis. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. I see you watch this show a lot, Mark. I uh, cuz that's you my know, signature thing was that and this. Well, you know what? I would yeah. Certainly in my heyday, but I have four kids at home, so... Four? No. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm in bed by 8.30. Yeah, no, long. I hear you. That's all right. I have one. I got another one on the way. Oh, congratulations. Thank you very much indeed. Oh. Uh, you can't see, but... Uh, <laughs> no, my, my, my wife's uh, pregnant. Are you going to have more? Well, no, my plan was always to have four. My wife wanted four. She wanted two boys and two girls. Uh, we were blessed to have both. And now, every once in a while, she talks about having a fifth. Yeah, that means but, you're gone, then. I don't know. I don't know. My sister, actually, uh, she has a 20-year-old boy, and she just gave birth to twins today. She had two boys today. Congratulations. So, yeah. What's your sister's name? Tracy. Tracy. Congratulations, Tracy. 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 Yeah. She's probably watching right now with the kids. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> she so, won't be getting much sleep, that's for sure. No, I know. Was that in Boston this happened? Yeah. Because you're from Boston, right? Yeah. I go there all the time. For what? <laughs> I know some guys. You pretend to be Irish and then they... they oh, yeah, that's right. right. I pretend <laughs> to be Irish. No, my family are, are from uh, Donegal and, uh, and Glasgow. My, I, I have a lot of Irish in me, if really? you know what I mean. Right. <laughs> So I don't know of too many Scottish people from Boston. There's a lot of Scots in Boston. Really? Yeah, there's they must a lot pretend of to be Irish. No, 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 no. It's the Irish pretend to be more Irish. <laughs> but they, well, they might pretend to be Irish in order to fit in. A lot of the cops in Boston I got on well with as well, because I look like every cop in Boston, or I used to. You could pass for a cop in That's Boston. That's true. Well, every Fourth yes. of July I go to Boston. Really? Yeah. Why? I host the 4th of July thing at the Esplanade. Oh, the fireworks? Yeah. Oh, wow. I set them off. I run from wow. firework to fireworks. And wow. do, cool you, do, you still, do you still have a place there? No, I don't. I actually, I was just there yesterday. We did a premiere for the other guys uh, for our foundation right. in Hingham, Massachusetts, which went really well because right. I shoot Derek Jeter in the movie. That was, and that's a terrible thing to do. No, it's a great thing. I'm a Red Sox fan. He's a Yankee. Yeah, so uh, it works out perfect. All right. I, was, I, I couldn't believe it when I read it in the script. I was like, you're joking? I'm actually going to get to shoot him, and he's going to show up and do it? Yeah. And he did. Yeah. He was a great sport. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, how's he doing now? He's doing okay. They, no, they won the World Series. In the leg. Simple. Oh, it's just yeah. the leg. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> no, it, was it, enough, it was enough to make... The entire city of New York hate my character, which is how I got partnered up with Will Ferrell in the movie. I see. Part of my punishment. It's a cop, it's a cop movie, then? Yes. But you, yeah, actually, the last time I saw you play a cop was in uh, the, the Departed. Yes. That angry cussing cop. Yes. No, no cussing here. We don't have cussing here. I heard you were here. cussing here. I don't cuss. Then you were talking about Step Up 3D. I mean, Step Up 3D, that's the big movie. That's oh the competition. God. Right there, man. Uh, Come on, you're going you for the what? same demographic, you know. I know, but listen. What people don't know, you didn't show the other clip, I do ballet in this movie. So we're, uh, you do? we're catering to that audience as well. <laughs> and you got Eva Mendes uh, there in the, uh, in the movie. Not bad. She doesn't Jeez. look quite that good in person. Just so you know. <laughs> now, I don't know. I, I met Eva Mendes. She doesn't look that bad to me. I mean, it was at a distance and the guy's going, get away, get away, restraining order. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I must touch her. Yeah. But... <laughs> She's pretty, uh, it's pretty easy, uh, to look at. Has she been on the show? No, I don't think so, has she? No. <laughs> no, we only have dudes. Because I, <laughs> I would imagine you would have the same reaction that my character did. There wouldn't be too much eye contact. Right. Every once in a while, you'd look up to well, see her I... lips or her eyes, but for the most part, you'd be staring. Well, don't you do that? I mean, yeah, I try to well, be My a character gentleman. did. I wouldn't do that. Oh, come on, Are you man. kidding me? You're dealing with DNA. You when I'm... you get that, that, you can't help it. I'm not owning up to that. My wife will end up watching this. She'll be the one night she's up with the baby. You no. Know. Like, oh, we'll watch, and then I get in trouble. No, no, no. You won't get in trouble. <laughs> Women understand. As Are you, you telling me your wife would be okay with you staring no, she, at Eva no, Mendes' no, breast? No, no. 
Exactly. Well, maybe if it was Eva Mendes, I'd go, honey, it's no. Eva Mendes. No. See, now the director thought that that would work, and Eva Mendes lives right down the street from Adam McKay. So one day she's walking the dog, and Adam says, hey, come on in for a second. You know, my wife's not home, but you oh, know, come check it out. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. So then he tells, he, he doesn't try to hide it from his wife. He tells his wife, and she's like, oh, cool. But then she tells one of her girlfriends, and her girlfriend's like, are you crazy? Eva Mendes is at your house. You don't have a problem with that? Next thing you know, it turns the wife. The wife is in a rage. Yeah. He's in big trouble. Uh huh. Yeah. So I you mean, don't ask Eva Mendes into your house unless you think she's gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then maybe it's worth it. No, it's not worth it. No, it's not. You're right. It's, it's not, not worth it. it. It's not yeah. worth it. No, you're right. Not well, with the kids. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I. I hear you. Absolutely. She'll end up leaving you anyway. Yeah, well. So then you I, got no, no wife. No, I kids, love my wife. You got no Eva Mendes. Yeah, done. but but I, you know, I'm, there's a difference between inviting a woman into your house and just occasionally letting your eyes slip to the cleavage momentarily to allow yourself a journey into science fiction. <laughs> None of it's any good. Nah, you're right. So you never looked at a lady's boobies since you got married? No. <laughs> See, that's what makes you a movie star. That kind of, that kind of control, I don't have that. That's why yeah. I'm stuck here. If I can do it, you can do it. Believe me. Anything is possible. <laughs> you would do this? Oh, come on. No. No, I'm you... saying you could be a movie star. I would never do this. I'm saying you could be a movie star. Well, I mean, you're here, you're... You're talking to the robot. I mean, you know. Yeah, no, that's where we get the, uh... We get this skeleton. He's got a cup, too. Wow, he also has a small penis. Oh, my God. Yep. <laughs> Actually, he doesn't have his penis. It's stuck in customs. They won't give it back. No, no, they won't. They're still laughing. I, um... So you're raising your family here in L.A., then? For now. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's always something that we've talked about, you know, uh, the pros and cons of raising kids in Hollywood. A few people that I know have done it successfully with the raised, very well-behaved kids, but the odds aren't in your favor. No, so. I know. I th that's why I think about my own son. And then I think, well, I should try and make it his childhood more like Glasgow in the late, you know, 1960s, early 1970s. And then I think, well, why would I do that to him? Yeah. I like him. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's tough either way you shake it. You know, there are pros and cons to everything. We'll we'll kind of play it by ear. But my wife is from Florida, so she likes the warm weather. Right. Um. Yeah. If they're out in the middle of nowhere, then they got too much time on their hands. It's it's tough. Yeah. And then there's all the uh, the uh, the they'll have a reality show. What age are you kids? Oh God. My uh, my daughter's about to be seven. I have a four year old boy, a uh, 23 month old boy, and a seven month old girl. Yeah, man, you just really live in diaper land, don't you? <laughs> Big time. Are you tired all the time, dude? Yes. Yeah. My, you know, my wife is obviously does does most of, of the work. Of course. You know? I hear you. I do some of the work. Yeah, I hear you. You're amongst I'm in friends. There. Relax. It's I'm all right. right. You know? No, I know. I get it. I Change get it. Change diapers. Yeah. I, I know. I do. I, actually, my son, I was talking to my son today because he's you know he's nine and we got another one on, uh, on the way and he said, Dad, you're gonna have to change diapers. I'm like, kid, you're nine. You're gonna have to change. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, Put him to work right away. Yes. Do you get the oldest one to do the... No, she doesn't do the diaper thing yet. No. But she will... She does like trying to change them. Uh, just their clothes, not the diapers. Right, okay. She doesn't want anything or to their do personalities. That. That'd be good. <laughs> she, she's definitely the boss of the house. That's mm. right. Mm. Well, there you go. The movie looks good. It's good. Yeah. It's good. You know, I, I wanted to do a comedy for a long time. I was just a little bit nervous. Um, and these guys were nice enough to invite me into their little their little uh, group, and they wrote this part for me. And uh, Will Ferrell's funny guy, isn't he? Very funny guy. Yeah, yeah. And his his comedy comes from a, a nice place, you know. Yeah, and not he like has... a mean comic like no, you. you not no mean. What are you talking about? You want to hurt Who people's am I feelings? mean to? When's the last time I was mean Dark. to anybody? Oh, the, the, you've been killing the gay community since I got here. I'm a little upset. <laughs> I'm celebrating the game. I got a gay robot working right here. You show me. Oh my. You show me another late night television show where it says a gay robot skeleton on it, and I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> that's a long way before, kids. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of time. We have to go to commercials. That's it. You piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fancy an awkward pause, though? I, uh, I love it. You, you want an awkward pause? All right, we'll do a quick awkward pause, and then we'll go to a commercial. Uh, harmonica? No harmonica. Let's do harmonica. Oh, you started the awkward pause before I even said it. I mean, I, I uh, thought we no. only had a few minutes here. Yeah, no, that's
My first guest tonight is a genuine American movie star. His new film, Ted, is in theaters June the 29th. Take a look at this. <laughs> That doesn't get old. No. That's over a hundred drunk hobos are happy to see you, but it's unbelievable. Hey. I think they, they, uh, they think I'm associated with the, the bumblebee. Uh, I, I can set you up if you're interested. Yeah, yeah, we can introduce them. Yeah, I, well, you, the bumblebees, one of the kids, uh, you know, is a production uh, assistant here. He crashed my car, so, you know. Oh, wow. Wow. Are you going easy on him? Well, and the other kid's an intern. He gets a college credit right there, you know. Wow. Yeah, he majored in B. I'm glad I didn't get my start here. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't have liked it. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you been good? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. I had a pinched shoulder, though. You ever had a pinched shoulder? I have many, many injuries. Yeah. Yes. Well, you're athletic, aren't you? You got hurt well, a lot. I'm a little beat up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You ever had a colonoscopy? No. Uh, no, thank God. I haven't gone there yet. Yeah, well, I did it. I was 50 last, last month. I had to go and get it really? done. Yeah, yeah. I've been very fortunate because I'm now 41. I right. get a physical yearly. And at 40, you know, they say... Yeah, you got to get the old... It has Hey, you did yet. two fingers there. What well, the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is. Is, it that, is that like the movie stars no, get no. two fingers? <laughs> oh, trust me. Thankfully, it hasn't happened yet. Oh. He oh. said, you know, everything is, is, is well, so I'm good. You know, dude, yeah. he, he's got to, you know, check. He's got to look. You got to have. It hasn't the... happened yet. Well, you, maybe you should find someone that likes you a little Believe more. Yeah. I, was, I was sweating it the first time. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's not that big a deal. Yeah, and then my wife was like, "Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened." I was like, "What's what is that all about?" But uh, so far, oh for two. It's good. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what it's about. <laughs> oh no. No, I don't. Even in my brief print and stis uh, my brief stint in prison, I was. Yeah, all right, 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 right. So listen, the movie looks great. It's hilarious, right? Yeah. They're, they're talking. Uh, it's not as good as Brave, but it's. Well, actually, you know right. what? It's the first time that I've had a movie, and the kids in my house want to see it, and they don't understand it's because a, obviously oh, it's inappropriate. Yeah. It's a rated R comedy. Right. But they just can't understand why it's just they keep seeing these posters of me and the bear. Right. And like, Daddy, why can't we see that movie? We haven't seen your other movies. And then I take them to school, and the upper class kids are all wanting to see it. So yeah, that's... they just don't understand. Yeah, that's a little tricky. But we'll I, be going I, to Brave. What? We're going to take them to Brave. Yeah, take them to Brave. Two weeks right. after my movie. Opens. I, I can get. I... <laughs> we're not, well, we're not lacing your pockets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. And uh, Pix, wait a minute. Pixar wait a minute. doesn't need it. Well, you, although you Kelly think, McDonald is in is is the voice of the girl. Yeah, right? yeah, she's the voice. And she's on Boardwalk Empire, which she I is. produced. She's one of the best actresses. She's I've very, ever very seen. good. Yeah, she's yeah. Good. she's very convincing as a Scottish girl in this movie as well. Well, I hate to tell you, but you know, she, you've she been typecast. Scottish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is a little bit. Bitch got play my a, heart though. Play it, play it. <laughs> Play a guy from Boston, I'll be impressed. Yeah, I, yeah, no, I couldn't do that. I, well, that's all I'm doing. Well, you know, I, doing I, tell you, I tell you, though, uh, in Boston, well, I go to Boston a lot, and everybody thinks that I'm related or a cop when I go there. Because I look like a you Boston look like cop. A cop. I look yes. like every cop in Boston. Uh, you'd actually be very good on, uh, on Boardwalk Empire. Yeah, I know. I said that to you Scorsese, and he quickly. was like, <laughs> get the hell away from me. You got you to talk to Terry Winter. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I can't do that. <laughs> I gotta be here. I gotta be here doing couple this scenes, glamorous show. Couple scenes, they'll whack you. It'll be over. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they could just kill me. And people get killed a lot. In that a movie. lot of them. Yeah, and you have that kind of face. Yeah. What the hell, man? What the hell? I look like, like the guy that should get whacked. No, I'm. I saying, get whacked and you get two fingers. What the hell? I'm saying, I'm saying that you look like a movie star. Oh. Just start oh. in television. You know, first, no, the first movie. You know, they're only using your voice. Right. Which is kind of an insult. Yeah. But I, th I think they can draw better acting than I can do. I think that's what it is. No, no. It, believe me, after working with Seth MacFarlane, who does the voice, I have a completely newfound respect for people who do voices. Uh, you know, people just think, well, it's easy. They just kind of show up. He does so many. He does all the voices pretty much on his shows. Yeah, no, yeah. The he's guy's very a talented. talented yeah. And he's just a talented. I guy. think he's the most talented drunk guy I've ever met. Does he drink? Seth, Seth, he's in the bag all the time. No. No, 
not at all. I couldn't work out. The only thing is, it, he's not a big drinker, but when he comes here, he gets very nervous about going on talk shows, right. so he gets bombed before he comes out. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, you don't have to do that. He's like, ah, yeah, I do, yeah. That's what's in that coffee cup. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, not here. No, I've, I'm way past that now. He hosted an event for us, and I, it was not a smart idea because it was for a church and homeless women's and children's shelter. <laughs> But yet they and still you got Seth MacFarlane? I didn't ask him. They thought, hey, it would be a great idea. We saw him in another event. I said, no, it's a bad idea. Yeah, it's a terrible he doesn't, idea. He doesn't know how to go easy, this guy. No. So, you know, he's killing the nuns and the priests and everybody else, but <laughs> they didn't seem to mind. Well, one or two of them did, but... Yeah. I'm guessing the church can stand a little bit of ribbing, you know. I mean, they've been around for a while. Yeah, it's, it's due. <laughs> to a certain extent. To a certain extent. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be me, though. We don't, uh, you know, we don't take out, you know, things that happen in the church on the good Lord, though. No, 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 absolutely not. Don't go there. You scared me. Yeah. <laughs> for good you made me think you were going to whack me there. For good reason. We would have to send somebody for that. I got, oh, yeah, yeah. I got a big night tonight, baby. <laughs> 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 we take a break. We'll be right back. It, but. Yeah, yeah, but you sip it for a couple of hours. Yeah, it takes its toll. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. I'm here with Mark Wahlberg. Uh, the movie Ted is, uh, when's it out? Uh, the 29th. 29th. is Weekend gonna... after you guys. So yeah, hopefully, yeah. you know, the storm I... will have settled. Well, I, you see, the thing about Brave, though, you got to remember, the movie Brave, I'm in it a little bit, but it's not really my movie. You know what I mean? It's not like I... Don't tell people that. <laughs> I got it wrong? You got another day before people were like, oh, my God. It He's was... hardly in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, right now, people are thinking you're above the title. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, yeah. Craig Ferguson, Brave. Yeah, yeah, Craig Ferguson in, Brave. Uh, no, it's, no, it's more like, oh, ho, ho, I'm gone. That's it. <laughs> it's all right. I'm going to see it anyway. I, I can get you in for nothing. No, no, I'm a, I'm a paying customer. My kids, we go to the theater. We get the ices, we get the popcorn. My kids never want to leave the movie, so I always sit in the back row because my two sons have to pee. Right? Oh, yeah, they won't yeah. go to the bathroom, so I gotta let them pee in the cup real quick. So <laughs> I, I got it, dude. I'm not, I'm not gonna have an accident. What the hell, man? <laughs> Don't wrap me. I, I'll, I'll I, look, I'll all I'm you. saying is, you know, you've done very well. You've come a long way. You, you know, maybe it's time to take your kids to the bathroom. You don't. <laughs> You got an image to predict. You're a, you're a movie star hey, now. In the middle of the Avengers, yeah, they think the big fight's coming up. Yeah, they're not going anywhere. Yes, I believe me. I tell them, let's just go because his legs start shaking. He's moving like this. I'm like, dude, you, we, my oldest son, we always know when he has to go to the bathroom, but he will wait till the last second. Do you know what happens when you're 50? That all comes back to you. I heard. I heard. It's like I, I'm I in heard. the Avengers. I'm like, I can up. Here we go. And I don't want to leave either. And then everybody clears out. Anyway, we're out of time. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, you want to do a mouth organ, awkward pause, or you want to go for the big cash prize? I want to go for the big cash prize. Yeah, you do. All right. What time is the Shadow State? It's time for the big cash prize. Big cash prize right there. That is 50, five zero American dollars in quarters. My son is obsessed with quarters. He's got a giant piggy bank, so... Well, you, you're going, you're going to be like a king when you go home with this. Exactly. That. <laughs> All right, then. If you win... Three ways to win. You can either answer a question, guess what's in my box, here's how, how that works. I imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. Well, after all that finger business, I would assume that... Are you go straight for the box already? Yeah, I mean... What about a kiss first time? <laughs> all right, go ahead. So explain it to me again. I apologize. All right, so there's... there's... <laughs> Can I still That's take That's not the... rude, is it? All right, all can right. Can I still take the staring contest? Yeah, you, you can take... No, 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 I need the cord. All right, well, I tell you what, why don't you just do a question for the money, all right? Okay. All right, here we go. According to... Re oh, well, Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. According to researchers, birds clearly target cars with their droppings based on the color of the car. What color attracts the most bird poop? Is it A, red? Yes. <laughs>
right, a great big movie star. His latest film, Lone Survivors, in theaters nationwide on Friday. Take a look at this. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg, everybody. Mark Wahlberg. Hey, Mark. How are you, sir? You know, I'm actually, I'm pretty bad. I've got the rocks and the and, the, and my eye. Can you... I sit here? No, you'll be all right. Look, at some of the uh, hand sanitizer right there. You rub some of it. Oh, you I'm brought some with that you? That <laughs> oh, that special movie star hand sanitizer? Yeah, yeah. This is the expensive stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, this is this the is stuff the you get. You get tubs of this at the That's CBS the yeah, store. That, that could be anything. You should test that. <laughs> smells a bit like pee. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It no, comes that's, from that's the same me. place as pee, but I don't think it's pee. <laughs> Not that color. It's probably a mixture of pee and something. Don't say. What's wrong with you? Hey, you started it. I didn't start it. How are you, anyway? Hey, I'm good, man. How are you doing? Thank you for having me. Well, uh, you know. Not literally. <laughs> No, it's good. It's nice to see you. You didn't get sick yet? You got four kids. You must have been sick already. You know what? I haven't been sick, but I, I suffered a horrible injury in Hong Kong. Really? Uh, I was shooting Transformers, and it wasn't one specific thing that happened, but I woke up one morning after shooting a large action sequence, and I couldn't move my neck. And I was uh, pretty much had a horrible stiff neck for nine weeks. And is that, is that in the movie, then? Are you going to... In the it's movie, you're not. like... Uh. You know what? It, it started out like that, but you'll, you know, even 18 weeks into the production, you can get fired. So I, uh, I know. Yeah, I would, that's right. I They're going to fire you from I the would, movie. I would turn my neck yeah. when I was supposed to be seeing some sort of danger or being pursued by something, but other than that, it was, uh, it was not comfortable. Well, you could do it like an owl. You know, you just like. <laughs> you know what? It's like shooting a gun without having the blanks in there. I always make the sound. So if I shoot a gun, I usually go bang, bang. And they're like, no, don't do the bang. Just pull the trigger. But I always go bang, bang. So if I was doing that, I would go, whoo. <laughs> just would be unavoidable. Really? You it's one of those things I just I didn't cannot know disconnect the two. Well, I didn't know you did owl noises. I do. I have, I have this amazing owl who lives in a tree right next to my house. Do you get, use them to send messages to Hogwarts? I do. How did you know that? Well, you know, you got kids. I know you know about Harry. What age are your kids now? Uh, 10, 7, 4, uh, 3, no, 5, sorry. And I, my, my 3 year old will be 4 on Saturday. Okay, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Congratulations. And in front, oddly enough, my youngest son, when they were obsessed with Harry Potter, we used to call him Rupert, and he hates Rupert. He's just screaming. It's Rupert, 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 they've I'm all been Rupert. here, the Harry Potters, and right. Rupert was lovely. He's, he's the nicest one. I met him. He seems yeah, yeah, no, he's a lovely guy. He yeah. smells a bit, but he's all right. The red hair thing. Could yeah, it's the red hair thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's fine. I heard you picked up golf. Yeah, dead, yeah, because you're a big golfer, aren't you? Aren't you Scottish? Yeah, yeah, but I was, it was the thing to rebel against, though. That was the thing. When I was young and, like, everybody's playing golf, so I rebelled by not playing golf. And they're like, fine. Yeah, and now you picked it up for a year and you probably suck. Oh, terrible. Exactly, yeah, yeah. but yeah. now you want to play and you want to be good and that's yeah. never going to happen. So now you wish that you didn't rebel and that you just... Well, you, listen, I seem to remember when you were a youngster... pastime. You, listen, hold on a second. You're talking to me about rebel and I remember the early part of your career there was a little oh. bit of rebelling going on. And yes, I, there yeah. was. And unfortunately... Yeah. Unfortunately... Unfortunately, I did most of it on videotape or yes. television, which is the worst because my Your kids are going to see it. Yeah, exposed to that, and you know, there's no avoiding that. Yeah, you'll be all right. But you ever look at like look at the the kid now, like Bieber now, right? Yeah, he's kind of like where you were right at the very beginning, right? Do yeah. uh, you ever look at him and think I should call him up and tell him, uh, you know, cool it? I've spoken to him once in a while. He doesn't. Li nobody listens at that age. No, that's you know, people true. always yeah. ask me, what would the 41-year-old say to the 16, 17-year-old Marky Mark? And I'd say whatever. What, I try to give him good advice. He'd tell me to shut the up and probably punch me in the face. <laughs> so it wouldn't be a good look if I got beat up by Justin Bieber <laughs> at this stage of my career. Dude, you know. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Not that it would happen, I, but you never know. But, but, but you know what? Risk, right? Let's just sit with it for a minute, because I'm I'm You're liking the feel. Vision? Look, it, it's a monologue that writes itself, man. <laughs> Like, if I hear you get beat up by Bieber, I come out here, I don't have to even, I can come to work late that day is what I'm saying. 
I'm trying to give you options. You no, know, no, it's be, all right. You don't want to be replaced like some other legendary talk show host. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, at he, the height of their career. Uh, is this the height of my career? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. You got your replacement there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at it. There's look always at, a replacement. Look at his head. What's going on, man? Jeez. Woo, woo. <laughs> He's got it. He's got it going he on. He might be in Ted 2 with me. Are you doing Ted 2? Absolutely. Oh, the... that's, a, that's a funny movie. You can't let your kids see that movie, though. They're still too young. No, no, no. The kids can't see that. You know, the what? boys, especially, they're dying to see it. It was the first time I did a movie. They're like, Dad, we can finally see that movie. It's about you and a teddy bear. Yeah. And I'm like, no. Although I did show them the fight between me and the bear with no sound. Which... Well, but that's the one where the teddy bear whaps you across the ass with a car aerial. Yeah. And that's my favorite bit. You know what? It's one of those things where they, I've, I've showed them contraband because there's no nudity in it in the car with no sound when my wife's not around. <laughs> you know? Because they, they want to see... It's the only way to see a movie, kids. Yeah. Exactly. They don't care about the sound. They're right. like, Dad, you just ripped this dude out of a car and smashed him on the ground. Cool. I'm like... All right, don't tell your mother. Yeah. <laughs> I think I don't. I look. I'm not telling you how to raise your kids. I got two of my own, and I'm doing it badly enough myself. But I think you're. I think you're sailing into a world of pain later on. You're probably right, but yeah. you know what? Boys will be boys, and we're having fun. Well, remember and say that you you can play that to your dad, kids. <laughs> That's true. See, yeah, I keep yeah. doing it. No, I, 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 I literally keep doing I'm it. I'm terrible at it. Like, my oldest boy is, is coming up on 13, and I try and, like... Has he seen Ted? Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> yeah, but, but I'm not in it, so I'm, you know, it's fine. No, I still think it's pretty screwed up. You know, it's just as bad, because it's totally inappropriate for anybody 17 or under. So, yeah. <laughs> You're not a good dad. What happened to you, man? It is what it is. Can I offer you a pipe, Granddad? <laughs> it's all right. There's nothing in it. If we were in Colorado, maybe. No. Uh, really? I didn't know you did that. I don't. No, know. I didn't. I gave nah, it up. I don't do that. I gave it up. Yeah, I gave up. It made me panicky. Really? Yeah, it made me kind of twitchy and nervous. It made me relaxed and creative. I think you were doing cocaine instead of marijuana. I was doing that too, yeah. Smoking, yeah. Yeah. yes, yes. That's yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that's the problem. You don't do that's cocaine funny. at the same time? No. Yeah. No. There's a problem. No, no that's... Uh... we got to take a break. Let's do it. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> The movie comes out when? Friday? The movie comes out Friday, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's a serious movie, though. I mean, the clip we showed was kind of... But it's a serious movie. Yeah, it is a very serious movie. And the most important movie that I've done throughout my entire career. It's the first time that I've made a movie that wasn't about my own individual experience as an actor and my own individual self-interest. It really was about telling these guys' story and paying tribute to those guys that lost their lives on the mountain and anybody else that's ever, you know, walked into a recruiting office and signed up to, you know, protect our country or their community or anybody else. God bless you. Have you ever have you been out to uh, to uh, uh, entertain the troops? Have you done any USO stuff? Uh, I went to Afghanistan. I went oh, okay, to Afghanistan that's a couple yeah, of yeah. years ago. Uh, yeah, and you know we went and uh, we flew commercial uh, to Dubai and then flew on Safi Airlines, which is the only airline that would fly into a, a war zone. And there was things being held together by tinfoil. And I thought, well, yeah. man, this isn't such a good idea. But it was a great experience for me. I showed all the troops the fighter. We went to Leatherneck and a couple of other bases. And uh, so having that experience and having seen Afghanistan and the people there and the, I met so many amazing Afghan people right. as well. And, you know, the, the people that were responsible for Marcus Luttrell, who I play in the movie, uh, getting off of that mountain and being here with us today is because they sacrificed their life in their village to save a stranger. Mm. Marcus kind of stumbled into their village, and, uh, and they put their lives on the line and went to war against the Taliban. Uh, and they're still at war with the Taliban to this day because of that act of heroism. It's a, it's a hell of a story. Yeah. Good luck with the movie. It's always good to Thank see you. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Mark Wahlberg, everybody.